you set up a dragonfly stove in the woods? Sorry, Catherine the Flukus. That's me. All right, guys, so the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have all the parts of your dragonfly stove. So you want the main component, which is actually the stove piece right here. You want to have uh, this little attachment that goes in the fuel bottle so it can connect to here. This is a um, ground guard, so it keeps you from making a black spot on the ground under your stove. And then this is a wind guard, so you put this up around the whole stove, which I'll show you in a little bit, and that will keep the wind from um, putting out your little fire. So first I'm going to set this up, and you need a lighter to start a fire. <laughs> uh, first you're going to open this up. And then you're going to flip this over. And here's your stove piece. And then you're going to come over to your fuel bottle, which is also important. Or else you won't get this started. It's going to take the lid off. You always want to put it back in the bag because if you get dirt in these little rings, it doesn't um, seal up well with the fuel bottle. And that will result in leakage of the fuel in your backpack, which no one likes. You just do this one as it will go and then just flip this little piece down so you can turn it and you're going to pump it about 40 to 50 times this creates air pressure inside the fuel bottle so that it can uh, come out here into the stove this looks and I'm going to take it off and actually like the stove. So just open this up all the way and it connects. Like so. This little opening is for right here. So you put that around so when you're cooking it keeps it all nice and covered. So put that aside. Now you're going to open up this fuel can canister all the way and keep this one closed. Ready, tidy, left for Lucy. And then you're going to open this one just a tiny bit. And you're going to get really close and look in here and watch the fuel come out. So you just want just enough that you can light it, but not too much that it will um, explode everywhere. I don't know if you can see those little splatters I just got right there. I'm going to try and light this. So I need a little bit more fuel. You're going to let this burn down just a little bit um, to heat it up. And then when it gets down to a little baby flame. Alright. When hit that one. Back to step one. Now you want to open up before it gets too small so it doesn't die out. What we're doing right here is we're heating up the stove and then when the orange flame disappears and leaves just a blue one and then that's what you want you'll turn that up if we get there. Turn blue, so you turn this up. And then, I always forget how to turn it off. To turn it off, you just close this, the red one first. And you let this burn down, and when the player is completely gone, you can close this one. 